Every day and each week brings us closer to the future. This week's AI news roundup is, let's jump into it. Microsoft is making a big new AI called MA1 with approximately 500 billion parameters, which is as powerful as others like GPT-4 and Google's Gemini Ultra. It's led by Mustafa Suleiman and uses lots of servers with NVIDIA GPUs. MI1 will be part of Microsoft's cloud services and could make Bing and Azure better. Pulsar is a smart system made by Anduril Industries to stop gadgets like drones. It works on land and in the air, and they're making a small one for soldiers. Pulsar jams gadgets by finding and attacking them with strong energy. It's used by U.S. Special Forces to stop electronic attacks. OpenAI and Stack Overflow are teaming up to make AI better at answering programming questions. They'll use Stack Overflow's data to improve OpenAI's models, especially in coding tasks. The collaboration will also create a new AI tool called Overflow AI. The first improvements from this partnership are expected by mid-2024. Apple might make Siri smarter with new AI in iOS 18. It could do complex tasks with one command, like making GIFs. Siri might chat more naturally and understand context better. Some new features might only work on the newest iPhones. We'll know more at WWDC in June. The U.S. Air Force flew a test with an AI-controlled F-16, showing how AI can fly jets. They want to use over 1,000 AI planes by 2028. This helps in battles and costs less than human-piloted planes. Some people worry about AI making decisions to use weapons without human control. A monkey could move a cursor on a screen using just its thoughts. It didn't know how to spell, but it could see which keys to touch. The monkey had a chip in its head that tracked its brain activity. This chip helped the monkey control the cursor by thinking about it. Ukraine's Ministry of Foreign Affairs has a new AI spokesperson named Victoria Xi. She gives updates on consular affairs. She looks and sounds like a singer named Rosalie Nombre. Her messages are written by people, but shown by an AI avatar. Each message has a QR code to check it on the government's website and avoid fake videos. It's the first time an AI avatar is used for official government talks worldwide. My name is Victoria Xi. I have been created by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine, using artificial intelligence to provide you with time and high-quality information on consular affairs. A new baby stroller called Ella was shown at a big electronics show. It's like a regular stroller, but has AI inside. This helps it go up and down hills easier, even when it's carrying a lot of stuff. It runs on a battery. A new tool made by X-Ray Lab and Ultralytics helps check if products are good. It uses AI and Specialize to look at packages, count things, and check labels. This helps make packaging better and faster. Astribot made a cool robot called S1. It's fast, can carry heavy stuff, and works like a human. S1 is being tested now, and will be sold soon. This shows how robots are getting better and faster. LimX Dynamics made a robot called P1 that's really smart. It can react well when a person tries to threaten it. The robot learns to respond to things like moving objects or bumps using a technique called reinforcement learning. A new racing league called AARL has driverless cars. In the first race, the cars crashed unexpectedly. Team, and then chaos into the braking zone, right into the back. Tesla's new Optimus robot can do more things like sorting battery cells and moving around offices all by itself. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, says they'll start selling these robots next year. It's like the future is coming. The United States Navy tested a new self-driving underwater drone that looks like a manta ray. It can stay on the seafloor for a long time without needing fuel. Northrop Grumman made it for the Navy to use on faraway missions. They tested it for three months in Southern California. Disney is making robots that act like characters. In a show, a cute robot came out of a box and rolled onto the stage. Engineers used AI to make its movements seem human-like. AI is not going to take your jobs. The person who used AI is going to take your job. Do you guys agree with that? Okay, so use AI as fast as you can so that you could stay gainfully employed.